Will Smith is undoubtedly one of the most prolific and popular actors of all time, and most of his movies have been real box office hits. The fabulous Fresh Prince of Bel-Air is therefore what we could call a bankable actor, and all of the Hollywood bigwigs dream of seeing his name appear in bold and capital letters on the posters of their big budget films. But Will Smith's fame and cinematographic prestige could be living its last moments, and the destiny of the superstar actor could be tipping into a bottomless abyss. Indeed, since this famous evening of the Oscars and this not less famous slap that he had gratified the comedian Chris Rock, everything is not going like on wheels with the Will Smith clan. The bad tongues are already telling about the actor's downfall, both professionally and financially. According to them, this tremendous slap would have signed the death knell of Will's career forever because no producer or director will ever want to work with him again. But is this really the end of this iconic actor which we are witnessing today? And is it really possible that this slap in the face could ruin Will Smith's tremendously flawless career to such an extent? Make yourself comfortable, because that's what we'll try to find out in this video. Before becoming the world-famous actor he is today, Will Smith wore many hats throughout his career. In turn, rapper, musician, producer, and actor for the small screen, Will has always been a perfect jack of all trades. We are going to try to retrace you the epic of this artist with a thousand faces. And this fabulous story began on September 25th, 1968. It was on this day that young Will was born in Philadelphia to Caroline Bright, a Philadelphia school board administrator, and Willard Carroll Smith Sr., a U.S. Air Force veteran and refrigeration engineer. Little Will grew up in a large family with Pamela, his older sister of four years, and Ellen and Harry, twins three years younger than him. It was a happy childhood among his brothers and sisters, and it allowed him to develop a great charisma and very marked intelligence. The young boy was so charming and eloquent that his high school teachers gave him the nickname Prince Charming. Little Will was a hard-working student with excellent grades, and his academic career promised to take him to the most prestigious institutions. Indeed, the young man was going to benefit from a scholarship at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, better known under its acronym of MIT, and which is recognized as being one of the most renowned institutes on the planet. The young boy had managed to get a pretty high score, and the doors of MIT were wide open to him. But the young Will Smith had other ideas in mind, ideas full of stars, rhinestones and glitter, and bling bling. He dreamed of starting a career as a rapper with his childhood friend Jeffrey Towns, aka DJ Jazzy Jeff. Will then took on a stage name which fitted perfectly with his bubbly personality and under which he was going to be known all over the world, the Fresh Prince. The duo of young musicians quickly became a huge success thanks in large part to their innovative style in the world of rap, which mixed comedy and show-offs and a good-natured background. The young rapper's lyrics were free of profanity and vulgarity, making his songs ideal for America's notoriously puritanical radio stations. By reaching an extremely wide audience, Will Smith became quite famous and his name was already starting to interest Hollywood and its talent scouts. But it was in 1990 that Will Smith's star would shine in the Hollywood firmament, thanks to the creation of the sitcom The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air for NBC, in which the young rapper played the leading role. The series follows a young teenager from the suburbs of Philadelphia who arrives at his rich uncle's house in Bel Air with all the comical and hilarious setbacks that this situation does not fail to generate. The series, fresh and light as a beautiful spring salad, was a worldwide success and propelled the young actor to fame and glory. Will Smith then made a smashing entry into Hollywood in 1995 with the release of the film Bad Boys, which quickly proved to be a real commercial and critical success. This hilarious comedy, in which Will shared the screen with his sidekick Martin Lawrence, had such a resounding success that it propelled the young actor to the rank of world cinema superstar. His name began to appear on big-budget Hollywood blockbusters, such as Independence Day by Roland Emmerich or Men in Black, where he will play opposite the famous actor Tommy Lee Jones. In 2001, Will Smith will make his entry into the dramatic register, playing the role of boxer Muhammad Ali Clay in the film Ali by Michael Mann. This magnificent interpretation will earn the actor an Oscar nomination in the Best Actor category in 2002. From then on, Will Smith will make successful films and his prestige will grow until he reaches the status of icon of American cinema. Far from the lightness of the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, the actor started to play more and more deep dramatic roles, 
such as The Search for Happiness or the magnificent feature film Seven Pounds. Will Smith became one of the few African-American actors to have so much success and earn so much money, thus surpassing big names in cinema, such as Johnny Depp. The Prince of Bel-Air became the king of Hollywood, and as a perfect businessman, he became more and more involved in the production of the movies he played in, which obviously made him earn even more money. Will Smith was then almost at the top of his art, and like the ancient King Midas, everything he touched was instantly transformed into solid gold. But the last decade has certainly been less favorable to the charismatic actor because he will chain flops at the American box office. Films that he produced himself barely managed to pay back their shooting budgets, including the turnip After Earth or the pseudo-action comedy Diversion. Will Smith will also participate in a few blockbusters, such as the one of Suicide Squad released in 2016 and triggered an avalanche of negative reviews, although he paradoxically reaped maximum profits. We also find the fantasy thriller Bright, which for its part will be literally burned by critics, who considered it a deeply atrocious film. Will Smith did not seem the least bit annoyed by these serial flops, because despite everything, his prestige and charisma had not dropped a hair, and he was still considered one of the most bankable actors in Hollywood. His film career was therefore far from being over, which The Prince of Bel-Air would prove soon enough. The release of the blockbuster Aladdin in 2019 indeed erased all the disappointments of the actor touching everything and put his career on the right orbit, that of planetary success. Indeed, the Walt Disney feature film in which Will Smith played the role of the good blue genie was a real hit at the global box office, collecting a little over $1 billion for a production budget of $183 million. Will Smith showed that his eternal charisma and his great capacity as an actor were still there, and thanks to them, any film in which he played could quickly make millions and be very well received by the public. But he still had to wait until 2022 so that his crowning achievement would be officially celebrated in Hollywood. He had once been nominated for an Oscar for his amazing role as boxer and world champion Muhammad Ali Clay, and finally received the Oscar for Best Actor for his role as Richard Williams, the father of two tennis champion sisters, Serena and Venus Williams. But unfortunately, not everything was going to happen as planned, because an incident was going to tarnish this prestigious ceremony and Will's reputation at the same time. Indeed, while the actor Chris Rock was on stage to give the award for the best documentary film, he decided to launch some not-so-good jokes at Jada Pinkett Smith, Will's wife. The cheeky comedian didn't hesitate to make fun of Jada's bald head, comparing her to the sultry actress Demi Moore in the movie G.I. Jane, where she had completely shaved her head for the role. But unlike the latter, Jada suffers from alopecia, a degenerative disease that causes hair loss irrevocably and irreversibly. The sublime actress took very badly the illusions of Chris Rock on her hair loss, and the cameras show well this critical moment where we see her clearly be embarrassed by this bad joke. Will Smith, who was laughing heartily before, immediately got out of his seat when he saw his wife's intense embarrassment and jumped up to slap Chris Rock in the face. The latter, who, let's admit it, had absolutely not seen it coming, remained completely stunned and did not know what to say or do, returning quietly to his place. Will Smith then angrily apostrophized Chris, telling him to leave his wife's name out of his mouth while using a rather colorful vocabulary, which we very rarely have the opportunity to see him use. The violence of this scene was quite palpable, and it must be said that it was the first time we saw Will Smith so angry and upset against someone. Of course, the Prince of Bel-Air will apologize for his inappropriate gesture to Chris Rock and the public, even crying his eyes out in front of the cameras. But the consequences of his act were not long in coming, threatening the entire career of the actor. The streaming platform Netflix immediately put on hold the project of the film Fast and Loose, and whose production was supposed to begin in August this year. This action movie was supposed to feature Will Smith as an amnesiac who can't remember if he is a CIA agent or a crime lord. The movie Bad Boy 4, produced by Sony and currently in pre-production, would also have been put on standby, as well as the movie Emancipation, in which Will Smith plays a black slave in Louisiana in the 1860s, and which should be broadcast on the Apple TV Plus platform. And finally, the actor even resigned from his position as a member of the Oscar Academy, a rather rare event in itself. Following these successive cancellations of his films, the bad tongues are already shouting about Will Smith's decline from the rooftops. 
even celebrating the decline of his career. Some would even evoke the withdrawal of the Oscar that he deserved for his acting, which would be a terrible blow of grace. And if ever Chris Rock had decided to file a complaint against him, the consequences would have been even more harmful. The Los Angeles police were even ready to intervene on the spot to arrest Will, and a trial could have cost him hundreds of millions of dollars. In any case, Will Smith's career would be completely devastated, and his immense fortune might not even be enough to pay all the charges that would be brought against him. But fortunately, and until proven otherwise, Chris Rock did not file a complaint, which completely excludes any risk of legal proceedings. So, Will Smith can rest easy for the moment, because the risk of his career being totally ruined is not so certain. Because of his immense talent and his many powerful friends, like Denzel Washington and many others too, Will Smith can see the storm pass and hope to be successful again later. And that's it for today. What do you think of Will Smith's incredible journey and the inappropriate gesture he made towards Chris Rock at the 94th Academy Awards? And do you really think that the Prince of Bel-Air had the right behavior by slapping the one who insulted his wife? Tell us in the comments, and if you liked this video, don't forget to put a like and subscribe and to activate the notifications. See you soon for new discoveries out of the ordinary.